Previously, in Season 2 Episode 1, after being kicked out to the end of the world by the nonsense of a goddess, Makoto was continuing his journey with his confusing luck in another world. He there found out his parents were originally from this world, so he just wanted to find the roots of his parents. But along the way he created his own merchant company as a side business from being an adventurer, but then he found out there were other heroes summoned by the goddess into this world. Makoto knew he'd run into them someday. So, it takes us back in time, another hero that was summoned to this world was a senior of Makoto in high school named Otanashi, she was a brilliant student, excellent in everything. But that makes it boring because she could pull of everything, and one day that nonsense goddess summoned Otanashi to become the hero of her world. She requested her and offered her power beyond imagination, but goddess asked her if she was happy with her boring life where she could do anything. Because she could offer her a life with challenges where she could have loyal friends, that was an offer Otanashi couldn't refuse, and goddess blessed Otanashi with powers and a silver sash. And with that, she was sent to Linnea Kingdom as a hero, she was worshipped as a divine being, and meanwhile, our main boy was stuck in the middle of nowhere while Otanashi was enjoying royal treatment. She even heard there would be another summoned hero that the neighboring kingdom would get, so she was mentally prepared to fight in the war, and the sash goddess gave her was a wolf spirit. And the king even assigned a mage and a knight to become Otanashi's companion, but she was in need of a one more member, so she tried to scout it out herself. And only this silver-haired girl catches the eye, Otanashi asked her to be her teacher and companion and she offers her that she could kill all the demons she wants if she joins her team. And Nabel couldn't reject her offer, and at the same time, Makoto was tangled with a dragon waifu with historical drama obsession, then. Otanashi starts her heroic journey with the rescue job of a priestess, she was attacked by kobolds, so Nabel warns Otanashi to kill without a hitch or else they would call for help. Then they jumps in for the rescue, but Otanashi hesitates to kill that kobold and it called out for help, she messed up and a whole horde just showed up. That puts the priestess in danger because her barrier was about to be destroyed, which gives Otanashi a great sense of guilt. But that just helped her become mature and she started her frenzy and killed all the kobolds herself. There the priestess of Laurel Kingdom named Chia showed her gratitude but she wanted to join Otanashi and her party and that could affect the relationship between the two kingdoms. So Chia cuts off her hair and threatens them that Laurel would think Otanashi did something to her, and they could be accused of murder. So Otanashi stuffed some common sense into her and agreed to take her in, and thus the common tale of Hero's party for Otanashi begins, but after that, they encountered a huge black spider who nearly wiped out their party, Otanashi lost her consciousness there, but somehow she and her team made it back alive. But that just awakened the dark side of Otanashi with the thirst to become powerful, and one day after Otanashi was summoned, a middle schooler who was bullied comes into the spotlight. But Tomoki was saved by two girls who saw the bullying, it hurts the pride of a guy to be saved by girls, so Tomoki became a shut-in, and as usual. Goddess summoned him and Sweets talks him to do her dirty work, Tomoki agreed to become a hero after she offers some really overpower abilities and equipments, and, to top it all off. Tomoki even got the blessings to be immortal at night, so there wasn't any reason to refuse, but he requests to Goddess to make him handsome, and Goddess surprisingly agreed, and that's how. Tomoki was summoned to another world, and Queen Lily welcomes him there, but there her guard Shelsha comes, and Tomoki got excited to see a knight for the first time, it was rude of him. But his charming magic worked on her, and things didn't get bad between them, but Lily noticed his charming powers. So she asked the court mage to make her and the royal family immune to his charming powers, then Lily introduced Yukinatsu, she was the alchemist and clearly a nerd type. And his eyes worked on her as well, and she invited Tomoki to her room for that night, so Lily pulls her back and she backs off, then the other day while exploring the castle, he runs into Mora. A dragon summoner, and his charming eyes make even Mora fall for him, so Tomoki gathered a full set harem as soon as he arrived, and even Lily joined his harem. Tomoki had such devil's luck that he even slept with the queen, but in reality, Lily was just using Tomoki to get her revenge on demons for her mother, and in the meantime, Makoto was kissed by a giant black spider who later took on human form, it's like the goddess of unluck simply smiled at him. As for Tomoki, Lily was supporting Tomoki with everything, and the next fight is going to be for the fort of Stella, and for this, Otanashi is going to join Tomoki for this war. She meets with Tomoki in the army camp, 
but Tomoki had become quite a rude brat, Otanashi mentions to Tomoki that she had seen a model that resembled his name, but that just ticked him off. Just after becoming a bit powerful, Tomoki had become too overconfident, so when the day comes for the war, Tomoki took the lead and marched towards the fort. Their demon general Rona heard of their advancing troop, so she ordered to send Lo to fight this battle, with that the army was advancing pretty easily and killed the front line of demon troops. Which seemed odd, so Otanashi asked Woody and Chia to prepare for high-speed travel in case, and just then, they fell into the trap Rona had prepared. And only heroes and their party came out of that pit, so Tomoki and Otanashi then infiltrated the fort with their party, but their low used a dark magic to reduce the goddess's blessings. Tomoki remember his immortality at night is because of the goddess's blessings, which means now he's vulnerable, so he runs out of there like a rat. But only Otanashi stays there like a real hero to carry out her duty, but even after fighting for a whole night with her entire party. They weren't able to defeat a single brigade general of the demon army, however, Sophia and Mitsuruji saw that goddess had sent it a new hope there, so Otanashi got her confidence back to fight low. That confidence was none other than Makoto, but Otanashi and her party were barely standing, so Naval asked Woody to prepare to run out because she wants to use the Forbidden Rose sign. It raised her power level to maximum, and this time Lo couldn't keep up with the regeneration, so he unleashed his full power, and seeing that Naval tells Woody to run out with everyone. Otanashi couldn't let her friend stay behind, so Woody tells her that Naval had used the forbidden spell so she is about to die, a heartbreaking moment for a hero to watch her first friend die. But even in death she made a huge blast with her remaining powers to kill Lo, but even her sacrifice got in vain because Lo protected him with a spell, as for Makoto. Tomo and Mio saved him after he fought with Sophia and Mitsuruji, and that brings us back to the present, where Makoto continues his journey to Roseguard City.